Hello everyone, uh, this week is a great week, it's a very powerful week. In this week we are reading Parashat Beshalach, that parasha that is describing the splitting of the Red Sea, the big miracle that is still haunting the imagination of millions and millions and billions of people around the world whenever they think about it, whenever they talk about it or they read about it or they watch the movie. What is this story about? We can't understand that story without the context of these six weeks, as we explained in past weeks, the weeks of Shovavim, six weeks, that the reading of the Torah of these six weeks is the saga of Exodus. So, we're starting with being slaves in Egypt, that's us, all of us, being slaves to habits, logic, kind of logic, imagination, the body needs, the needs of the community, the needs of work, the needs of sustenance, the needs of duties to the family, all of these are our jail. Not because they are our jail, our perception of these needs is our biggest and darkest jail. During these six weeks, Every year during this part period of the year, the heavens are open and we can draw the power to get out of our own Egypt. And here when we come to Parashat Beshalach, the splitting of the Red Sea, it's just another step, a huge step, allowing us to connect to the real human being within, the real me, the image of God. The human soul. What is the human soul made for? Yes, when it is said in all Kabbalistic writings that the purpose of the creation is to do good to the creatures, the created beings. What does it mean to do good with them? Is, does that mean that we have food on the table, that we are healthy, everybody around is healthy and happy, and we don't have troubles? Is that all what you want? No, it's not. If we were created in the image of God, we need much more than that. And as long as we do not achieve that, we won't have quiet, easy, nice life. The surrounding light, the pressure of our real destiny will haunt us till we are going to find what we really need to do. What does it mean? It says in the Mishnah that when a person passes on, he comes up to heaven in front of the throne of God. And then he says, God, I've been honest. I observed my religion laws. I was a good father, a good mother. I was a good employer, employee. I did everything the way it should be. My life were good. And God is saying, what about the creation? Did you go and delve into the secrets of the creation? Did you enter into the wisdom of Genesis, the universe, the creation? Did you enjoy it? Did you learn how to control it? If not, what that, why did I create all of this beauty? Why did I create you? So when we just look for comfortable, nice life, something will always be missing. And these parashot are about getting out of the Egypt, getting out of the habits, getting out of all of these fears, desires, pressure, and be able to reach to where we should be. Where This is the place that we go so high and above the ability to generate miracles, the ability to see beyond the five senses, the ability, as the story is about, a week after the Exodus, last week, we read about, we read about the plague of the firstborn, we read about getting out of Egypt, just the getting out, this week, six days after the Exodus, the Israelites reached the Red Sea. The Red Sea in front of them, on two sides of mountains, and from the back, Pharaoh with his army. 
no way out. So you need to split the sea. The pillar of fire, the pillar of smoke, and the song on the sea, which is the biggest elevation, meanwhile, of humanity. That point that we reached is waiting for us all the time. Every day passing by that we do not achieve that level of the song on the Red Sea, something is missing to our soul. Something is missing for our destiny. Life is about achieving that. And achieving the healing, achieving the power, the beauty, the melody of the universe. It's all in this parasha. It's all part of being a free human being. Being free to enjoy creation. It's not enough just to ask to live life without troubles. It's to be part of the Creator. To be a Creator. The secret of the song, the secret of the 72 names of God. Elevating above nature, our nature, our habits, living the magic. Because a human being is a magical creature. And if he's not connected to it, or she, something will be missing always. We all met one way or another in our lives, some moments in which we lived the magic, making the impossible being, come, being possible. How, do we do the, how did we do that? We used, we used the magical creature within ourselves. This week, we should go deeper into it. Awaken that dormant part within, desiring it, meditating on it, and go to the side to learn more about it. How we can become what we need to be. All the best and success in this journey. Thank you. Live Kabbalah is a nonprofit organization founded for the distribution of the wisdom of Kabbalah and its values. Learning the original principles of this wisdom can reconnect us with the true values of our society, including the belief in the dignity and freedom of man, democracy, and the freedom of speech.